testing. One, two, three. Check, 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 check. Just uh, noticing the face tracking on my video camera. Um, hi, this is Michael on YouTube Guitar Tutorials on YouTube. And we are just setting up here to do uh, the next uh, tutorial, part three, I think, of With or Without You. We've just done two covers. Uh, part one was with the Axe FX Ultra. Part two was with the AC30, the Vox AC30 amplifier. And um, we'll get started here with the step-by-step, note-by-note tutorial. Um, if you'll notice, since you've got me here on camera, I uh, just noticed in the screen here, you'll see my ear monitor. I use, um, I didn't know at the time when uh, I got them, but it uh, turns out Ed uses Edemotic monitors. Well, this is a set of Edemotic monitors. It might even be the set that Ed uses. And if Edemotic is rolling out a consumer custom mold program, inner ear molds, see if I can get this thing to focus on this. There we go. Um, that is a, I think the company's ACS that does the molds, but Edemotic, you can get them through Edemotic. They are going to be rolling out a consumer pro program in the United States. Uh, you can essentially buy a set of Edemotic headphones at a retailer. It comes with a certificate. The certificate you can take to an audiologist. Uh, they'll help you locate an audiologist. They'll take your ear molds. And these things are unbelievable. Um, they must decrease the noise level by 10 to 25 dB, somewhere in there, which of course, I live in New York City, so when you're uh, outside, it's very noisy, and if I can reduce the outside ambient noise, I can listen to my iPhone at much lower volumes, which is better for my hearing. So um, I'm essentially now listening to my music in New York, New York City at about 25 to 45% less than I usually do. So. Um, they're incredibly comfortable. They're great. You can get these with a little filter for concert headphones, so you can uh, ear mode, so you can uh, not damage your ears, but still hear the music incredibly clearly. Uh, you can get these for any Edemotic headset, um, and it's just fantastic. These are professional quality uh, ear molds, like all the studio musicians and uh, the concert musicians use. So I just thought I'd mention that. Uh, I think it's a great product. Um, not getting paid for this commercial. I just wanted to pass on a great tip. Uh, so I'm going to put that in. And as usual, we have the music on the left and the uh, narration on the right. I'm just going to adjust this camera. You didn't come to this channel to see my face. So let's go back to focusing on the guitar. So moving on with the tutorial. Uh, first, the guitar. This is my custom shop Frankenstrat, meaning I bought the pieces and had it assembled. I didn't build it. Uh, a great guitar tech luthier at Rudy's put it together for me. And a fantastic guitar tech at Picamoose did my sustainer. Um, this is a Custom shop neck I got, believe it or not, on eBay. It's fantastic. Rosewood neck. Maple back, maple neck with rosewood fretboard, I should say. Slight vintage. I didn't uh, do this. That's slight relic, I should say. You can see that there. And then I bought uh, the body. It was a custom shop Clapton body from a dealer. And I put them together, and they came together perfectly in tone and everything. Uh, both were pre-owned, so they're a little scratched up, but they're in good shape. And I'm going to bring this in here. I'm going to turn this down. You can see top net neck pop. That's the Fernandez sustainer. That's what it looks like. I don't know how close I can get this in here. A lot of reflection. There's the sustainer driver. And then you have two Seymour Duncan hot rails. Those are humbuckers. They're single coil humbuckers. Vintage bridge. And the controls for the, there are the controls for the sustainer right there. Look 
get the reflection out of it. Um, you're probably, for those that are very uh, picky about their guitar aesthetics, you're probably going, oh my gosh, how come you routed into the front of your guitar? Uh, it was recommended by the guys at Pika Moose, the, the lead uh, guitar tech there. He's very, very good. He builds guitars. He's amazing. Um, we chose to go over tone and, sec not, and uh, minimal routing as opposed to aesthetics. Um, the circuit board on the Fernandez sustainer, and I can easily make adjustments and pull that out of there, um, is not that deep, and, but, the, but the switches have to be here on the face. Yeah, we could have gone from the back, but then we would have had to route all the way through the body, and uh, we would have lost more wood that way. And when you lose wood, apparently you lose some tone. Uh, so we decided to go in from the front. Uh, he did an amazing job of making this flush. You can see that flush um, plastic uh, cover that is similar to a pick guard cover, but it's flush with the wood. And uh, the color is almost perfectly matched. Did a fantastic job. And quite frankly, I think it gives it a nice high tech look. So I didn't mind it at all. So this is a one of a kind. This is a Fender Stratocaster custom shop with a Fernandez sustainer and it just sounds amazing. Um, I left the knobs from the Fernandez kit. Fernandez kit. They were kind of more modern contemporary looking. You can see them there. Uh, I took off the vintage knobs and um, there you go. That's the guitar. Okay, I forgot to mention the sustainer that I was just describing works on a battery. So I talked I showed you the control plate. Well, I didn't show you the back of the guitar. The reason I got the Clapton body was the Clapton body has right here in the front a is already routed out for a preamp circuit. I think it was the Clapton body. Um, so there wasn't that much wood left there anyway. We just routed out the back and we put the battery pack, double battery pack for the sustainer there. So this one just clops, pops right out. And there's your battery. And if that runs out, you just pop this one out and you have an extra and I just pop it right over there. Eventually I'll have them wired in parallel, so I'll have nine volts in parallel and they'll just last a little longer. But uh, two, ba two battery pack for the sustainer. So let's move on now as I, to the sustainer parts. The most important part, obviously you need a sustainer or an Ebo. We'll go through both later for this song. Uh, but you want to use a humbucker guitar on this song. Uh, you don't have to have a hot rail, but I believe the Edge uses hot rails on his uh, Fernandez guitars, but I'm not any, not 100% sure, but I think he does. Um, so that is a good part of the tone here. You want a humbucker, and we're going to be on the bridge for the whole song. Uh, not the quack position, it's too dark, and the driver is obviously for the sustainer. So all the way here in last position for just the bridge pop. And we are tuned in E-flat uh, for, let's see here, turn that up. Yeah, we're tuned in E-flat for the song. Turn up here real quick. So let's go through, we went through, um, I'll post the preset on the next video, uh, a screenshot of the Axe FX.